Okay, and I'm live. Good afternoon. I'm back. How are we all? Is there anybody watching? Oh, there's a few of you here. How are we this afternoon? I'm on to my third live faith. Well, third live Facebook for the day. Oh, I did one first thing this morning here on this happy little channel. And then this afternoon, oh, at 11 o'clock, I did one with, uh, with my class for October, my art journal class for October. And thought, seeing that it's Sunday and that everybody is sitting around in the sun, hopefully having a lovely quiet day, I thought I might jump back here and do a double scrapbook layout using these gorgeous papers from Paper Rose that have just come into us this week. Um, and as part of the picture to page online event this weekend, we have got a fabulous online sale where you can get 15% off a huge range of stock on nataliemay.com.au. So we are talking 15% off Christmas things. So Christmas stamps, Christmas stencils, Christmas papers, 15% off, plus 15% off of um, alcohol ink as well. So if you need to top up on your alcohol ink, now's the time to do it. Or perhaps purchase a little... Um, put together a little gift pack. There's a Christmas gift for a friend. You can do that at the moment at 15% off as well for your alcohol inks. Lindy's products are 15% off as well as all paper collections. So we have got paper collections from companies such as Simple Stories, Stamperia, Celebrate, Vicky Booten, American Crafts, Paper Rose, um, Echo Park, Chow Bella, Craft Consortium, Tim Holtz paper pads. They are also 15% off, which is great. Uh, we have got a whole range of products available to you at 15% off. Um, we have excellent bundles of paper available as well from Uniquely Creative. They have got some of their collection kits available um so we have got some of their collection kits available and they come with matching ephemera like the die cuts for only 25 dollars for the for the die cuts and the paper pad so normally they are 38 dollars ish for those uh but we've got them out on special for you for 25 bucks so you get your um collection of die cuts with them included at that great price so that's that's fantastic um, what else have we got? Oh, um, three-quarter designs. You guys have been going mad for the three-quarter designs kits. So for those of you who like to scrapbook and make cards and off-the-page projects, we have got uh, 15% oh, yeah, off Uniquely Creative as well, which is great. Um, Lou, could you bring my laptop back over, please, mm. love, so I can see? Is everything right? Yeah, um, and we have, yeah, so there's a huge range of, of, of stuff that we've put on special just for you guys, just because we think you're awesome. Um, Tim Holtz bundles. Have we got any left, Louise? Oh, a ha handful. A handful. A handful of Tim Holtz bundles left. So what the Tim Holtz bundles are, are three Tim Holtz hardware products in a lucky dip, like a seriously lucky dip three for only 10 bucks. So they can retail up to $12.99 an item. And I have got some here. And I am discounting them down to you guys, three for 10 bucks. So they are selected and popped into your order at random, but you will find them on the website in the side menu under P2P bundles or show specials or something along those lines. Um, what else is there? 
Oh, if anyone's a Copic marker colorer, hmm. alcohol ink marker person, we have got um, Copic markers reduced as well. Um, they are going to be the little chow markers, which are the, the smaller of the two markers. The chows are down to $6.50 a marker. And the sketches are only $10 a marker. So you will probably struggle to find those at a low cost anywhere else. And there's only limited stock of those. So jump onto that now. Um, so this paper here from Paper Rose is, um, I've decided to whip up a quick little kit just for you. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is I, there's a, a nice amount of fussy cutting with this and I made a little bit of a start earlier, but I thought I would also do a little here live with you guys. Um, and it's a kit that includes six papers and a couple of pieces of cardstock and you're currently watching the instructions on how to do it. So I'm going to pull this one out of the air and create a double layout using six sheets of paper that are very, very pretty. Uh, I think I'll add some water coloring to it as well, perhaps in the background, a little, a little mixed media sort of going on perhaps. And yeah, do a quick little layout. Uh, so Louise is just uploading the kit online as we speak. It's a $20 kit. Is that right, Lou? Yep. yep. It's a $20 layout kit and um, it'll be available in a few minutes for you to look at. So this paper is lovely. It's called Garden Party. They're, um, the colours are just lovely. They are rich, rich earthy colours um, but very, very pretty at the same time. They're double sided. They are printed and produced here in Australia. Um, in fact, they are printed and designed here in my hometown of Adelaide. So the kit includes this paper, this paper here, which I've just cut out, which has got uh, some, well, garden party things on the back. It has this piece of paper, which I have, I stood here and cut earlier. It goes like that. And I, I like these bits here because they are really, really easy to follow. So I've cut those out ready to go. And the back of this one has got some more elements that you can fussy cut, including little Alice in Wonderland sort of uh, elements as well. And the kit also has this in it. This is the uh, three by four inch sheet. So it's got the sentiments on here so you can make cards if you like, uh, or you can add these little cards to your page. I haven't worked out how I'm gonna use these yet. And it's got this lovely blue plate on the back. Gingham, plate is American, sorry. Uh, then this one here is, oh, as you can see, I've cut that out of there, ready to go. And the back of that is just gorgeous. I really do like that. I'm definitely going to use that on this layout. And then we have got, oh, there's one more piece, which is a fussy cutting piece. Let me grab it and I'll show you what it looks like. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. And it's this one here, which is A. And so I've already got these pieces pre-cut out because nobody needs to see me cut up paper. Uh, and that's got this gorgeous hot pink, or pale pink, wood grain on the back. So it's an excellent little collection. And you could probably do quite a few layouts out of this. Uh, I haven't really... I've got a small ballpark idea what I want to do with it. Uh, so let's just jump in and get it done. All right, so I've got two pieces of Kaiser Craft cardstock. Uh, and because I'm going to do a double page, I'm going to lay it all out-ish. And then I'm going to add a little water colouring to it, I think. So because it's a double page, I'm going to lay it out like that. Yep, that fits. Sorry about the flicker. That's because there's a bit of white happening there. Uh, I'll turn the light down a little. There we go. So now that I've cut out these two pieces off of that paper, I want to pop them on my page. I do, I do love me a double scrapbook layout. I think that they are 
they do look great um, and they look lovely in a scrapbook album as well and when I create a a double like this I like to create them as a flow so you know they've got a, they've got a flow across the page um, I've still got the barcode on here that's a small problem let's cut that off so I'm just using my crafters companion 12 inch guillotine uh, which is my go-to guillotine and I use this uh, instead of a paper trimmer because that's what I like to use and I use it enough that it uh, it doesn't go blunt so that is going to run across the bottom of my page um, excellent now Louise has just bought my laptop back so I'm just going to bring it up on screen you'll find uh, here we go over there There we go. Oh, quick, mute me. There we go. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Um, hi there. I'm just going to read some of your comments quickly. Hello, Karen Yates. How are you, my love? Yeah, this paper is called Garden Party from Paper Rose. Uh, so, yeah, the both sides of the papers are really, really nice. Oh, at least for, no, you haven't frozen. It's just me looking at it. All right. So I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> so it's going to go like this uh, the other elements that I have here so when I cut out this piece as you can see I I have I've left this intact because what I want to do is I want to be able to use this other side uh, so I'm actually just going to bite the bullet separate it here and I want to be able to use that side so I'm just going to pop that aside for a second uh, and the same when I cut out these edge bits I kept it I kept it as a as a piece so that I if I choose to use something from the middle or I choose to use that wood grain I could so I've got these bits so I could do that but I think what I might do pop that up high up there and pop that high up there something along those lines looks like it could work for me are you watching me hesitate Louise because I don't know what I'm doing I do know what I'm doing. I'm a grown-up. This is not my first time today. Well, you know. All right. So then I've got these other gorgeous papers here. So I've got that one I can use. I do love this. Now, because these papers, I've got a lot going on here. They're quite busy. I need to tone it back with something a little plain. Um, I don't want to add any more flowers. I think we're good for flowers. So let's cut a... Let's cut this first and see what we can get out of this one. So this one here, I want to cut off the barcode because I like that strip. Don't laugh, Louise. It has the perfect shade of green that will go with the rest of the layout. So I'm just going to pop that aside. I haven't decided where I'm going to need that yet, but I will. And then I'm going to take this piece here and cut it off get a nice straight piece to about there so it's actually about two and three quarters of an inch uh, or about seven centimeters worth I don't need that piece right now and I'm thinking that I might use because I've got a bit of a gap here because I, I like it here maybe I can extend that by popping that underneath it so I'm just going to pop that aside and I don't have any photos handy um, not unusual it's 
kind of go with it. Now this is the Garden Party C paper and I'm using the reverse side and I want to cut that to be about five inches ish. And I'm thinking something like this. This I find a little bit busy for me. I'm not a huge fan of teacups and cupcakes. Um, <laughs> no, absolutely not. I am a fan of this uh, barcode strip though. because the colors in it match the flower elements in my paper. So I'm gonna take that element and grab it. Why am I doing it like that? Oh, make it hard. Here we go. Snip. Let's just get that. That's pretty. No, I've got other flowers cut out. I don't need to do it all. Get it out of the way. Get it out of my life. Let's see what we have here. I'm just about to do a second layout. Um, Karen, it, it's possibly my internet, babe. Sorry, I've been having a few little... It's, I think it's more the fact that my internet has decided it's worked enough for today, uh, being my third layout. Just having a moment. All right, what I'm going to do is we've got this piece here. So this is the piece that came out of the middle of those two, two flower bits. Um, so let's see what I can get out of here. I just thought I might make one big piece. Um, Karen, when you go and watch it back again after you buy the kit, <laughs> um, you'll be able to go back and watch it and it should be fine. All right, so this piece here, which is taken out of that middle piece of paper, is just a little uh, three and a quarter inches on my trimmer uh, and or about, you know, eight centimetres-ish. And I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I'm going to keep some nice, simple layering because these busy papers are doing enough for me. I, I really think so. Um, all right, let's add some. Let's add some watercolors. I want some some color down here. So I'm going to slide all of that out up out of the way. Small technicality. Water. Out of my water bottle and I'm going to use my ultra new palette which is the one I have handy and have a look here um, paper towel water spray so just a tip when you are using uh, watercolors wet the palette before you do anything and I'm just doing that away from all of my pattern paper here just so that I keep the mess you know, kind of semi-organised. Um, in fact, I'm just going to sit it on top of there. All right, let's have a think about this. I want to choose colours that are kind of in and around here. I really like this yellow. I've got a lot of green going on. I don't know that I really want too much more green. So I think I might start making a little bit of a wash of pink, and yellow for my splatter or like a blush color perhaps let's have a bit of a look let's start with um, a soft yellow and I'm gonna make a little wash in here rather than just jumping straight in because if I make a wash in here then I'm gonna be able to get my colors right rather than um, messing around and you know, I can water it down. It's not going to be super bright. And the good thing about it is if I don't like it, 
I can just get my paper towel and fix it up again. All right, so I'm going to take this here and I'm just going to add a few little taps of colour down in here. And of course, it's going across my page because it is a double page. And I'm doing what I call a smoker's tap, which is a finger tap. Hello, Tracy Thorne. Yes, I am blooming lovely today, aren't I? <laughs> I'm so funny. Actually, you're so funny. Um, okay, so super light, little taps, and it is a finger tap, not a wrist flick. A wrist flick is going to not be wonderful. A wrist flick is going to leave lines. A finger tap with the paintbrush is going to look much, much better. Okay, so this is like a, a coral, a light coral color. And I'm kind of, as you can see, keeping the color all over my jumper. A little bit generous with my flicking, with my tapping, with my smoker's tap. And this is just Kayser Craft cardstock. It's not anything other than that. It's, it's not watercolor paper. I'm just gonna give these a light spray now with water and it's gonna bring some of these droplets together and bleed them all together a bit and make it less speckled. And then I'm gonna get my paper towel and tone it back because there's a lot going on here. Oh, I put my paper towel somewhere safe, didn't I? Dirty paper towel from the last class. And just toning it back. When your colour's too bright, just doing this. And it takes some of that wetness off it as well. So it's super duper light. I'll bring it up to camera in a moment to show you. But it's definitely there. Alright, for the time being, I'm going to pop this aside. Let's have a look at that up close. See that? Let's turn that light on. It does get a flicker with these lights because of all that white, but you can see, like it's a real stain. It's really quite stained it. Let's stop mucking around and let's stick something down. I have to turn that off because the flicker is just horrendous. Dainty. I am very dainty. Are you calling me dainty or my background dainty? We all know you're calling me dainty. All right, so we're going to pop that about there. That's going to go about there. I'm not covering it up. I'm just Okay, what I want to do, this is bugging me that I keep when I create a double layout, I like to join them together. Uh so I'm just going to grab some washi tape. And I'm going to flip And then I've just got one piece. This is just so much easier to do it this way. And then I can cut it off after. And I've got an injured finger and I can't tear tape still. Hence not having my wedding band on. It's not because I just, you know. No, I do love my husband. Anyway, different conversation. Okay, that's better. Now it's one piece and my papers aren't going to move. So, that is going to go up there somewhere. That is going to go up there somewhere. So, for those of you just tuning in, um, I am creating a double scrapbook layout for the, with the garden party papers from Paper Rose. And this is a kit that has just become available online for you to purchase for $20. 
All right, what I want to do is I want to tack these down. I don't want to stick them down totally because I'm going to shuffle because I haven't decided exactly where my other papers are going to go yet. I want to be able to slide things in and out underneath. So the first thing I want to do is grab some sort of sticky dot thing. So these are the, um, the dots that were in the bundle a couple of weeks ago, actually. And they're foam dots. So, And I'm just going to double foam dot because I want a little bit of extra height on the bottom. And these are quite thin too, which is really good. And it is going to be about two fat fingers up from the bottom. Official scrapbooker's measurement. Right, good enough for me. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I know, I did some fussy cutting, Kerry Ann. Are you proud of me? I know that's your jam normally, um, but I didn't do all the fussy cutting myself. I am not going to tell a fib and say that I sat down for hours and did this because I'm a sh terrible liar. Um, my lovely, lovely friend Delphina took home a piece of paper and did the did most of it for me because I knew that there was one sheet that needed to be fussy cut. All right, so I have just tacked that down. So the bonus of doing that is I can still take a piece of paper and slide it in if I need to. I can go back and I can add more tape, but I it's, it's a lot harder to slide something else in if it is not uh, if it's not anchored properly. So I'm going to take that one a little bit higher up there. I quite like it up high. And with these papers here, let's have a look at what we've got cut out. We've got this brown one cut out. We can slide in. Which looks pretty great underneath that. Oh, no. Got this one. I do like this one. It's quite busy though, so I don't know that I want to see a lot of it. Where's that other bit gone? Has it hit the floor? No. Maybe it's this piece. It is this piece. It's right in front of me. I mean, you guys could have told me that. Crikey. Uh, I do like that. I like that. These barcode pieces cover up gaps nicely. This is the barcode strip from the pink piece of paper. I wonder how I can make this work. It's quite pink. I know how I can make it work. The pieces that have been fussy cut already for me look like this. So these are really, really lovely. And Delfina has nailed it. So it's got this kit's got so many flowers. So if I don't use them all, oh, she's even cut the little leaves out. Bonus points for Dill. All right. Oh wow, wow, she went to town. Okay, so I am going to use the pink in there as well. Although this is quite earthy, I think um, I'm, I'm just going to pop that aside. Okay, so less fluffing around here and let's just stick something down. I've got some double-sided tape. This is, I'm just gonna whack a little bit of double-sided tape on the back of all of these elements. Now, I'm only gonna use a small bit again so that it can be 
uh, maneuvered and I'm putting the tape in the middle like this so that it still gives me the ability to tuck and slide. And I can always add more tape. Right. Tape off. Tape off. Tape off. And let's go back to tucking and sliding. So we want this one to sit up here. Hi. This one, I quite liked this one in under this, didn't we? A little bit of overlap, about two fat fingers overlap onto that page. Just gonna tuck that there. Love hearts, so they do need to be facing up the right way. So this is the advantage here that I haven't tacked, stuck this down. So I can lift and slide, place. About two fat fingers down from the top. Perfect, I'm happy with that. Because what's gonna go here, there has to be photos on this page. I know, right? Like, that's a thing. I'm gonna take that. A little bit further over because I like the overlap and I can cover this piece up with a piece of the scrap that I had before is it straight no commit stick oh Now commit. So what I can do, this bit here, nobody will even know. Um, glue. I'm going to use glue because I have zero patience for peeling the back off the tape. Stuck. Right. And stuck. Right. Let's have a look on this side. Hello, Chris. Welcome, darling. And this one here. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run a bit of glue down this side here. And then I'm going to use my Altenew Big Big Tape and cut. I could have used the dots, but this one's actually a thicker foam tape, which means that I can give it a little bit more height with um, less effort. And I'm not going to go right to the end with the double-sided tape because I might want to tuck something underneath it like my photograph. But I just want to make sure that it's sitting up at the leaves and the flowers and anchored at the edge. So anchored here, high here. Anchored down here at the, at the edge and it's high here so that it has that lift. So I can slide my photo or my photo mat in here, which I will do in a minute. All right, so the other thing that's going on here is this still hasn't been stuck down properly, which is fine. I can slide in some of this. Hello, Susan. 
Too busy doing your art journal page to notice. What are you doing, darling? Come on, I've taught two classes today. And now this one, managing to fit all the things in. And I'll be back this afternoon at 5 p.m. Adelaide time in a couple of hours to do an interview with the lovely Michelle from Picture to Page. Go and pop a bit of lippy on and probably should have done my hair today, but you know, she'll be right. Cross that hurdle when I get to it. Okay. Double sided tape would have been fine. But you know, there we go. Bit of glue here. And I make sure that there is adhesive where it crosses that spine where I've stuck it down because you know what's going to happen. It will, when we cut it down there, we're going to have these pieces that are not stuck down, which is not ideal. I'm just using the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive because it's what I had handy. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Let's work on the other side. Um, so Susan joined me earlier on today and we did the October Art Journal class online and um, had a ball whipped through an art journal page well we didn't whip through it at all it was two hours of fun creating and and having a having a blast so same thing here i'm only adding tape to foam tape at this end glue at that end so that if i want to later tuck something underneath i can and i'm just going to commit to it and go bam See how we can get in there. Now I do have a gap. I've got this gap going on here and that's all right because I can fill that gap with anything. I can fill that gap with, I reckon it's my bloody internet Louise. I can fill that gap with these guys. So these are the barcode strips. I am going to put that there. In fact, I'm going to adhere this down first. Um, it's not some, oh, the, the layout, the class has got tricky bits. Sorry, I'm going to say lots of tricky bits. I'm not doing anything tricky. I'm just layering up paper here, babe. Um, Diane, yes, these papers are lovely. These, um, this is a kit that we are doing, this is a live kit. So you can jump on right now onto my website and purchase this kit for $20 and you are now watching the instructions for it. So there won't be any written instructions, you just need to find this, which is easy. Um, I'm just gonna run some glue down here. Stick. Stick. There we go. And then I like the dark green across here. So I'm gonna pop that on there, but I'm gonna go across the page. And I'm gonna do it the easy way and go and glue. Tuck, tuck, tuck. It's quite quite an easy there we go. Stick, stick, stick. I'm not worried about this little gap here because I've got a whole heap of flowers here and I can just shove one in under there. Um let's quickly do a photo mat because all of this is kind of all of this is kind of useless if you don't have photos, right? Because we're about memory keeping here. 
this is what it should be about. It's about adding photos on here to record memories, to tell a story, to pass on to a generation, to make pretty things and oh hang on and to you know do a bit of stress relief on the side so i'm going to cut uh this is my pretend photo now with my photographs they are always a little bit smaller than six by fours so i have got a six a little bit under six by a little bit under four photo mat here. And I'll do that again, bit under six. Bit under six, bit under four. And I might add one more. So you could easily, you know, we could add a few extra pages, photos to the page. Um, and I'll do one for, I think your phone's ringing, Miss Louise. Four by, four, bit under four, just so that we've got a bit of a guide as to where photos could go. random bit. Let's go back up here now. How many rolls of brown paper would you like? Um, how long are the rolls? Uh, let's go with two. two um, okay, so I want that to go there. I've got the husband doing jobs for us. That can go there. Oh, that could go there. That can go there. See, we suddenly have a bit of a scrapbook layout going on, don't we? We've got we've got pretend photos here now. Stick, stick. Um. Okay. So I need a piece of uh. I need some foam tape. I need to lift my photos. I do not want them. Um, I don't want them flat on the page. Um, Louise, in my trolley, uh, in your what, sorry? trolley closest to the window, the third or fourth drawer down, um, are some pieces of cardboard. Would you be able to... Did that make sense? Yeah. Yep, excellent. Um, I'm going to cardboard mount these because I want to do a... I want them to be totally flat. So... We get a decent amount of cardboard come through here with our deliveries and our boxes. So I keep these little thin pieces that make excellent mats, I like to sit underneath my photos um, and lift them up instead of foam tape. I go through a lot of foam tape on embellishments, but I think that sometimes uh, a solid base is much better um, when you have a photograph underneath it. So this is my um, tip of the day. How am I going for time? Okay, 45 minutes, nailing it. Bit of foam tape. And I think that's about the thinnest foam tape I've used in weeks. that straight at the top? I can't see. Close enough. And then this one here. It is so nice outside here. Louise and I went and sat out the front on the front step and had our had our lunch today and it is an absolute perler of a day here in Adelaide. Um, we haven't seen much of it but Sitting out there to have our lunch was absolutely beautiful. See you later, Susan. Thank you, sweetheart, for your support as normal. We do appreciate you. Um, okay, that one's going to go there. 
but this is just a nice little hack to save a couple of bucks on some foam tape but to also give your photographs um, some lift on your page okay so this little kit that I'm creating here for those of you who have just tuned in um, is a $20 kit that I have created. It will not come with instructions. You are currently watching the instructions and you'll be able to go back. It will, however, come with a photograph um, that you can use for reference. Uh, but the but the layout will be lovely and simple and easy. Um, just, well, it's, I think it's easy. I hope I'm not making it look difficult. There's just a bit of fussy cutting and a bit of, um, a bit of layering. Having, you know, you can add your own creative spin to it. You could add some stenciling in the background. Uh, you could add, oops. You could add all sorts of things to this really, really easily to put your own personal twist on it. I won't be adding a title to it um, because, of course, your photograph might have a different personal meaning than my photographs do. So popping a title on it, I think, is something that, you know, I believe is a bit of a waste of time when you do a kit. All right, we're done. We're there. I want to pop something up under here. Um, I've got this lovely base down here. Let's have a look at some of these fussy cut elements that have been cut out. We've got lovely, so it's going to be like a super, super flowery page. I could go up here, I could add another flower. Like this one's huge. I don't know that I need that one. Get rid of that. All right, let's just commit to it. Let's stop mucking around and get it done. Okay, this yellow flower, love it. Keeping it, commit to it, stick it down. Foam tape on the back. Sliding it in under here on an angle, bam, done, committed. This one here, same thing, fits in there quite nicely. Stick it down. Now I can't get it to go where it was before. Bam, done, committed. Uh, I've got too much. Oh, perfect. Maybe. Commit, 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 commit. It's all going to work. The flowers are beautiful. It's all colour coordinated lovely. The more you fluff around with it, the more you find that you second guess yourself, exactly like I'm doing right now. I'm going to pop that up. No. What happened to that flower? Yeah. That one there. That one there. This one I'm going to glue. And this is the bonus of having elements that are not 100%, you know, edge to edge taped. Anyone who has bought any of my kits that are uh, with full written instructions, you'll always notice I'll say no edge to edge tape because you might, might change your mind. Um, okay, so over here where I've got this little gap that I wanted to hide, uh, I need to put something there. And there's a whole heap of these little leaves that Delphina's cut out. 
Um, so I'm just going to slide them in here and it takes the focus away from the white area that I've got. And there's these little elements that I can tuck in and that is ample. Um, I can, there's another one. Voila, done, 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 done. I've got a bit of an edge here that's kind of bothering me a bit. What do we have here that I could put there? Oh, I've got this bit. Nailed it, perfect. Commit to it, glue straight onto the page, bam. I'm gonna let it dry. Cut it off, done, and I'm happy with that. Oh, you know what? I could have put something down there. I was happy with it, you know. No. So these are the flowers that are cut from that other sheet as well. So I'm just going to pop this little guy down in here. All right. So there's room on here for a title to go across here. Like if you've got some thickers or... Uh, you know, you can have a look through your stash. I'm sure you've got some amazing words that would look lovely um, on your project. I have got a stash of alphabet thickers or gold letters or something like that that would look lovely as, you know, as a title for the page. Um, completely up to you. But the cool thing is, is I still have got one and a half pieces of paper here that I haven't even used. So you could create a second layout and then there's that that I haven't used and then there's that that I have not used uh, and then there is, you still got that piece there and that piece there and that piece there with that piece and then there's that that you could still use as well plus also there's another piece here and another cutout that you could easily whip up another scrapbook page but i'm not going to do that so 20 dollar kit available online now it's just called the garden party layout kit um, I will then get my scissors and I will cut up this line here and separate that. Uh, but hopefully that wasn't too difficult. I hope that that was nice and simple. Um, jump online, nataliemay.com.au. Uh, we have got, like I said before, we've got a range of things on special, including um, Copic markers from $6.50. We've got a clearance section with 30% off. We've got Lindy's, 30, uh, a clearance section, 30% off. Lindy's, stamps, stencils, papers, alcohol, ink, scrap effects products. The entire range of scrap effects products are all 15% off and all Christmas things are 15% off as well. So um, that is for the, until the end of today being the 17th of October. Um, Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I look forward to seeing Sunday, you. the 17th of October, <laughs> Sorry, Siri decides she has to chirp in and say something. Um, pop over to the picture to page, have a Facebook page at 5 p.m. Adelaide time. I think it's 4.30 their time, your time, wherever, wherever you are in the world. Um, and I'm doing a little interview over there with the girls, having a chat about my new stamps and designs and giving a, a short little tour of the shop here in Adelaide, um, which, by the way, will be closed on uh, tomorrow. So 
Um, I hope you're all doing really well. Have a fabulous day. Jump online, nataliemay.com.au, and I'll chat to you all soon. Wash your hands, kiss your kids. Thank you.